that's what that's what he saw shows. So, so what's your point? Do you have any do you have any grievances coming up here? Of course I have grievances. So what are your, state your grievances, please. That that all men sexually harass women. So so you're saying you are, so you're generalizing that all men sexually harass women. What do you define as harassment? Um it, well there, there's a kind of a broad spectrum between Kind of, right? Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Shut shut the fuck up! You wanna see the spectrum? So do you wanna have do you wanna have discourse or do you wanna or do you wanna use no, first, first there's in, there's interrupting me. Okay, I'll let you speak. Go ahead. Go ahead, speak. Yeah. You got the floor. Oh oh really have I? Have you stopped interrupting me? Go ahead. No. It, it, there's a spectrum and it it, it it ranks from interrupting to demeaning to belittling to raping women. So so interrupting, right? So so what I did what I just did, that was a form of harassment. He, he says in hey, Yeah, get out of here, man. We we ain't none of them guys, alright? You ain't about to come up here and call those people. That's right. Ain't nobody. I was being cordial with the lady, and look who you got to come to the rescue, right? Nigga, nigga right? Yeah. Old Sambo, all right? Nigga. Get Proverbs 11 and 21, all right? Bitch, yeah. 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 fall there, Rin. Is that not what she was trying to do? But she resisted. Oh, she fucking up. Get it, yeah. Slam her head. Get the car. Get her. Get her. Get her. Hey, and all you 
you so-called black people, you should be, you should be rejoicing, rejoicing right like, now. This you should be clapping your hands. Justice. Maybe look at us like, who's these niggas, man? You know? Fuck these, fuck these niggas. Yeah, job. First All time you need to get job. Hey, man, hey, it's us against the world, but guess who's on our side, man? Right. Both sides, man. Right. Right. Y'all can keep fighting. Hey, give me, hey, give me Jeremiah 1, all right? So I'll keep fighting, all right? Keep fighting. Go to jail! You're just gonna bloody your knuckles, all right? You're gonna break your hand. You're gonna bloody your knuckles, break your hand, and you're gonna give up, all right? Yep. Uh, all right? You're gonna, you're gonna give up, all right? Because you can't fight against your all I'll shoot me all a shot, all right? You, you idiots. Well, it's right? like you, you, you're trying to come up against a uh, great millstone, man. You're trying to punch a great millstone, all right? Hey, you know what she did? She tried to assault us. Oh, she did assault me. Oh, yeah, she did assault Oh, excuse me, excuse me. She assaulted us, all right? That's why she's in handcuffs. So just leave us alone, all right? Let us preach the downfall of you people, all right? That's right. You can't do nothing about it. It's going bad. This is beautiful, man. Let's go! For Jewish parents, the bris is one of the first religious rites for their baby boys, a circumcision. But there's one kind of bris in ultra-Orthodox communities that's causing some alarm. It's not healthy. I mean, nowhere it's written you have to uh, that kind of procedure. The practice is called Masitsa Bape, where a moil uses his mouth to suck blood away from the baby boy's genitals after circumcision. Problem is, the Centers for Disease Control released a recent study showing 11 New York City babies got herpes after this kind of bris between 2000 and 2011. Two died and two suffered brain damage. This Brooklyn man with 50 grandchildren is still not concerned. But you can't change the tradition that we have for thousands and thousands of years because something happened. Do you think that Moyle should be tested for herpes before they perform that, Briss? I'm not a rabbi, I can't answer you that question. Last September, a Brooklyn boy who was only two weeks old died here at Maimonides Medical Center just a few days after he underwent the circumcision ritual. The medical examiner later ruled that he died of herpes simplex virus type 1. And just last week, an Orange County baby was diagnosed with herpes and transferred to New York Presbyterian Hospital. It's not a subject most in the ultra-Orthodox communities want to talk about. You know how they do a bris when a little boy no, is... A, sorry, no. You can't talk about the bris? No, I don't know how to do it. One moil named Yitchhak Fisher was banned by the state health department in 2007 after he was linked to three herpes infections, including that in a twin boy who died. A concerned Orthodox community member claims he's still doing bris and says she recorded him on the phone earlier this year. <laughs> Ultra-Orthodox rabbis are said to be resisting a city proposal that parents sign a waiver before their infants get the oral suction bris. The worried community member recorded another moil who claims this is how he sterilizes. Well, I do usually uh, pour wine. Uh, I use strong wine. Mine is alcoholic. Unfortunately, that's not enough to kill the herpes virus, which is carried by 54% of all people in the U.S. and can be fatal to a baby with an underdeveloped immune system. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs>